My name is Amanda Ross and I am an Australian eventing writer and my business is Amanda Ross Eventing Fit. My top horses currently, I have four eventing horses, Coco Pomping Candy, Pointstown Will, Cavalier Vivendi and Don Diablo. Yes. <laughs> Probably that I'm a little crazier than I might appear on um, when you don't know me. When you do know me, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Staying alive for 46 years. Um, <laughs> well, but you know, going to the Olympics in 2000 um, and enjoying what I do and being able to do that every day. Oh, so many years ago, like at least 20 years ago. Um, and Bates came on the forefront and supported um, a small bunch of elite eventing riders at the time, of which I was one of them. And I am so excited to say that still, um, I've been supported by Bates and it's only become better. Um, and I'm, I'm extremely proud to say that I've had contact with this company the whole way through because watching them evolve and seeing this small bunch of people be so excited about making saddles for this long is unbelievable. So that sparks so much joy in my life. Oh, okay, so a bit skeptical, didn't really, I don't like being taken out of what I like. And then the Bates Victrix turned up and it was a very short period of time. Maybe, I think it took 20 minutes for the saddle to break in. I was a bit skeptical. And then after that, I was like, so when do they come? When do all of the Victrix come? Then I was a bit like, oh, I'll go brown with navy. Again, being a bit, you know, trying to be sensible. But now we have a plethora of colours and I love them all. And I wouldn't want to have just one colour anymore. <laughs> yeah. Why would I not? They flow. They get flow, not jerkiness because of the softness. So the translation from me bouncing on their back and them ricocheting off the ground, somewhere in the middle turns into clouds. Yes, so, my gosh, I didn't even realise this was such a thing. I knew it was a thing, but not such a thing. So Lou came to fit my saddles in, was it uh, November? It's now end of January. And we discussed how event horses in particular go from on their holidays getting fat, Coming back into work, uh, losing some weight, then building some more muscle, then going to an event and stripping down because they're getting fit. Um, and they change four times. And so for me to actually sit properly in my saddle um, requires that saddle to sit in balance. So if they're not regularly um, assessed and checked and slightly altered, then it can really change the, the balance I get and the message that becomes you know, apparent or not apparent between the horse and I, yeah. And well, you can't change it if it's not an easy change system. So I don't believe that one saddle fits all horses. Beach. Becoming more night out. <gasps> Olympics. Geldings. Show jumping. Browns. Jacket. Oh, warm blood, but sort of thoroughbred. Oh, well, triple bars make a better shape. <laughs> Carrots. <laughs>